Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Today, we have a cool um, install on the truck. So I've actually kind of wanted to try one of these for a while, um, which is a um, cell signal booster for your vehicle. Um, in the Ozarks, we have a really bad reception. Um, and it's like, you can have reception, you can have like three bars at one point and then completely nothing. And it's just very unpredictable. So we'll see if these things work um, out there. I have no idea what to expect, to be honest. Um, but anyway, this company called High Boost um, sent me their uh, their kit to test and make a video on. So that's exactly what I'm gonna go, gonna do today. Um, if you guys can see, um, I'm gonna put it. Well, I, actually, I don't know exactly yet. I think I want to put it right on the bull bar right here, kind of like the uh, the Australians do. You know, super cool. I kind of mocked it up on the hood. I'm sorry, on the roof rack way up there and it looked a little high to me so i think we're going to try that but nonetheless i just kind of want to test this and show you guys this product so i'm going to flip the camera around real quick and show you guys what's in the box all right guys so before i show you what's in the box quick little garage update um you know you guys like always comment on my garage i think it's kind of funny got a brand new um tool cabinet i am so stoked on it it is super nice soft closed doors. I got power outlets up there and on the side, gas strut door thing. It is beast. Um, literally went from this little guy to that. So now I have everything in one place. Here we go. Here it is. So I have opened this, but not moved anything around. So, so this, this specific kit <clears throat> is, a. Uh, it's a vehicle one. They make another vehicle one for like for smaller rigs and it has a different antenna setup. But I wanted this one because the antenna setup is a little bit more powerful and it looks way cooler. So here's the box, a little manual, cool. Um, also guys, this is very comparable or comparable, I guess, to the, the WeBoost. You guys have probably seen the WeBoost out there. So stoked to give this a test run. Um, here's the antenna. Kind of wish this was black to be honest, but uh, it's very nice that it's spring loaded. That's pretty cool. You know, you can put it on your wherever because we're going to be knocking branches all the time in the Ozarks. <clears throat> um, I actually think there's a different mount setup uh, that comes with it. Yeah, so it looks like a little U bolt thing. You know, maybe I could put that on the bull bar. I don't know. We'll figure out. We'll, we'll make it look clean um, either way. Um, Okay, here we get this cord. So, I did see this cord online, dude. I am not a fan of the white. I do not know why they chose white. This cord goes to here. That's just gonna stick out like an absolute sore thumb, having a white cord come out of there. So, maybe I'll just get a new cord all together, new black one, or wrap it in electrical tape. I'd probably not do that, but. Anyway, by the time this video is finished and you guys see the finished product, it's gonna look clean anyway. So <clears throat> I think this is the power cord to this little unit. Um, looks like a little amp almost. And then uh, this will this will power via USB. And they give you a little little guy here. So I have a few of these 12 volt cigarette lighters in the truck. And then this is like another interior antenna, I believe. So you put this maybe on your dash or something. And then it also comes with um, adhesives, which is actually pretty pretty cool. Nice touch there, and I think this is maybe an adhesive as well. Yeah, it's like a rubber thing, so pretty cool. Um, it is super self-explanatory. There's some more adhesives. Very nice. It's super self-explanatory how this works. Um, you know, you don't need to run it to your battery, anything like that. This is really plug and play, and uh, should be awesome. So I'm not going to bore you guys too much with the manual, um, but I think it gives you some different setup suggestions and tips and things, kind of where to put your antenna, um, things like that. I think I'm kind of running out of daylight today, so we'll come back eventually and uh, we'll get this thing installed. All right guys, so it is the next day and first thing I've done is install this app. So that's the first thing on the list, it's super easy. It's called Signal Supervisor and it's basically a way to monitor, um, you know, your, the strength of this booster and you can see, you know, the uh, actual data and stuff on it. So it's very easy, just installed the app and it's pretty cool because it walks you through like a soft mount um, process. So 
you know, you can kind of mock up um, where the you want the antenna, where you're planning on putting the antenna inside and outside the, the vehicle. On the antenna also, so I plasti dip this. This is, I don't know if this is gonna be bad or not, honestly, and that's why I plasti dipped it, because I hated the gray, it looked lame. Um, and I think the black looks a lot better. But this might actually interfere with, uh, you know, the, the actual booster working, I'm not sure. But if it does, all I can do is peel this off. If you guys don't know about Plasti Dip, it's just like a peelable paint, basically. So no harm, no foul there. Um, also, I learned that these mounts, first of all, these just look kind of ugly to me. These these mounts, actually, they're very ugly to me. Um, I want to mount it on the bull bar, possibly. And uh, that just looks atrocious to me. And then I got a mount from Midland. And this isn't going to work either because my tube is a little bit wider than than uh, these bolts because it hits the bolts top and bottom so i'm kind of screwed there so i figure i might just make a tab and uh weld a little tab to the front of the bull bar i don't know we'll figure out the the mounting of the antenna um you know later but i just want to install everything else first one quick thing i wanted to show and i didn't point it out earlier um right there you can see this side says outdoor and this side says indoor so it's the most simple thing ever. You just take this little piece off um, and the indoor, this one just screws into the indoor there. And then the outdoor screws into uh, this cable, which this cable goes to the antenna. So very simple. Again, I cannot stand how this is white. This cord is white, but whatever. We'll, uh, we'll make it look good at the end. So that's how that works. All right. Well, this freaking sucked. So I ran the cord through the passenger side um, over here, through the firewall, through the rubber grommet. Um, the reason I did it over here is because I have my mid, uh, Midland GMRS right here. And this goes up there like that, just from the factory or whatever. And uh, I'm gonna put the, the high boost on top of here and Velcro it there. So, um, and also another reason is because this cord is so dang short. So I went through the firewall and you know, I have just about this much left. So should give me still plenty cause I kind of want to go through here and mount, mount the antenna somewhere right there. So um, here's the hole I went through. There was already uh, a big cable running through here. So all I did was widen the grommet just a hair and yeah, should be fine. So that was just a pain to poke that stupid cable through there, but it worked. So now I'm gonna put all this crap back and uh, wire or route this cord, maybe, and uh, kind of bring it up through there like I did with these, and that should be it. All right, guys, just got everything um, kind of mapped out where I want it. This is the indoor antenna, so I have it kind of routed right here on some Velcro. Um, and basically I'm just getting ready for the soft test, um, as what they say. So I have this all plugged in. Um, obviously we're going to make this look super neat and everything in the end, but, um, got the indoor antenna there, the coax cable for the outdoor antenna, the power, and then I actually hooked it up to my Midland to get power. And hopefully you can see the lights are on right there. Um, have the app downloaded and then right here I have my antenna i mean you know roughly where i want it so um just a second ago i ran a speed test to show kind of the differences um there is a part you know it shows my address so i'm actually gonna hide some of that stuff but there you go right there it uh you know shows you the levels of everything you're receiving so i had uh i had two bars and i'll have five that's pretty sweet so i did do a uh, speed test earlier and I screenshotted them so this was just um you know without the the booster and you see that that actually went down but that went up significantly let's see yeah let's just test it again all right so this one's interesting this one's 7.8 and 6.2 which from before this was the first one 7.8 6.2 so I don't know it's gonna vary um, I will say where I live, even though I'm in a neighborhood, pretty crappy cellular reception. So this will be pretty good. Um, 
I'm sure it's going to fluctuate like crazy. It's going to depend on so many different factors. These boosters are, you know, very, very picky in particular. But yeah, honestly, I think the soft test, I mean, you know, I just saw a minute ago, I went from two bars to five. And now I think I'm actually back at, sorry, I didn't mean to say five before. Four bars. There's not ever five bars. It was all four bars. Now I'm at three bars. So yeah, I think uh, the proof of concept is there and it works. And really, I'm just going to tidy all this up and um then we'll be good all right guys just finished it up everything's looking super clean no wires at all sticking out um well i guess the only wire um sticking out is this little guy i could easily move it back there but uh it honestly doesn't really bother me right there so we got that in there if you go up under here no wires at all sticking out um those are all just factory wires Minus the GMRS radio, of course. What I did, or I guess I'll show you in here. So I just put it on that little tray right there. It comes with uh, some nice Velcro and stuff you can use to attach it. So um, I did have to cut, or I guess drill um, a few little slots in the back of this little plastic piece just to fit all this wire kind of through um, and to uh, be able to snap everything together still. So it's all still good and you know snapped and tight really dirty in here um but yeah everything is really nice so for power what i did is I actually ran the little power cord um under under this little piece and i have a little uh usb back here already so that is how i get power um and i was never using that so it's nice that i get to use it finally and it keeps the dash nice and clean, you know, because nothing, um, the only thing I have plugged in is that iPad charger. That's how I do that. And then, you know, if I'm driving for for whatever reason, I want to take it out, you know, I just pull this out and uh, it's good to go. So, and again, this is only getting power when the ignition is on too. So only when I'm, when I'm driving. Man, that's about it. The only thing I have left to finish is this antenna mount, but uh, this is going to require some sort of mount on my end for this antenna. So um, I will try to figure that mount out before I finish this video, just so you guys can have a complete full video on the whole thing. But um, also, you know, I keep going back and forth and that antenna being painted or plastic dipped. You know, when I did those tests earlier with the uh, with the app and everything, it's still, it's still improved. So, um, you know, if it does get worse, that'll be my first thing is just to kind of remove that. Um, rubberized wrap stuff so that's about it all right guys hopefully you can hear me with the wind but uh right here is the final product looks very nice and tidy i think pretty inconspicuous so this is a um midland mount that i just cut off and uh, had welded to the bull bar so that's how that works um it's nice and straight and secure and everything so i think it looks pretty dang good pretty tough i think that uh antenna is pretty sweet looking but um let me get out of the wind i have i have been driving this for quite a bit probably like two weeks since i've had this and it's worked it's worked really good i'm gonna turn on the ignition get some power and we'll run another test just to see, but uh, so far it's been pretty good. So let me get this hooked up real quick. All right, so you can see again, I have the app pulled up on my phone and this one is super good, acceptable, good, and almost super. Well, basically it is in super. So it's working. Um, again, you know, I haven't, I haven't actually tested this out in the woods yet, but like I said earlier, um, my neighborhood at least my carrier and everything we just don't get that good reception out here you can see right now i'm at full all bars lte which is very rare um without having this booster you know as soon as i go in the house and you know when i get off wi-fi basically i'm gonna have like two maybe three bars so this is awesome it's working um i am being honest with you guys sometimes it's pretty finicky like these things are um it's just there's so many different factors that get a good reception um so but for the most part it's been working pretty well so again i'm going to test this actually in the woods 
but uh, for now, I think it's still proving itself. So I like it a lot. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, if you're interested in purchasing this at all, I can save you some money. There's a link in the description. Uh, if you check that out, um, there'll be a special coupon for you to use if you guys want to buy this. So I'm excited to use this. Um, late in, in late August, I'm going on a um, like a 10-day Colorado trip, something like that. Um, so we'll really be able to test this thing out as well as a lot of other products that I'm using for an extended period of time because usually my camping trips are like three to four days, maybe something like that. So I'm excited to do an extended trip. So this will be a really cool tool to use out there. So yeah, if you're interested, please check out the description. Um, also another announcement, um, if you haven't known by now, I have a uh, brand new coffee, an Arkansas off-road blend. Um, I've collaborated with Got Your Six Coffee and we have a really cool coffee for you guys. So if you guys wanna check that out and you're a coffee drinker, please check out uh, longcreekoverland.com. Uh, there's some cool new goodies from my merch store in there. Um, any purchase through there would really support me. So I'd really appreciate that. So yeah, hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for a lot more cool stuff. See ya.